We have found that many people who work in agriculture are much older now. The younger people are not coming through quickly. So we need to make it cool for them to be attracted to agriculture. The current perception of what farming is, old, tired, you know, out in the sun, dirty, not cool. So we need to break those perceptions. And this can be changed with the power of communication and the internet and whatever the IT tools can bring. We need to start telling our story our way. The social media training over the weekend uh, was focusing on Reform graduates and the idea is to allow them to have the soft skills to be able to communicate their science. We have the researchers, we have the farmers, but there's a, there's a gap in linking those two. The students have focused on um, five key areas, photography, and the other which has been very exciting for them was videography. And then also we've, we've added in the component of Twitter, and then also have them write stories, and that is blogging, and as well as Facebooking, which is allowing them to be able to have a dialogue online with, with various people globally. Uh, we have learned that social media is the power, is the tool that we can use to show the world what we can do. From a researcher's point of view, I'm always battling with the fact that putting our research out there through journals and publications, and let's face it, we are the only ones who read those. The farmer down there is not going to go and look for the Journal of Rural Development and read it. So if you, if you have photos to show them, if you have a small video to show them, if you make it fun for them to document what they're doing. And we're in a technological age, so it's really easy to use social media to put your work out there. To harness social media this week, there's been a lot of tweeting from the students, trying to give a real-time update of what's been happening in the conference, and lots of photos taking and short clips here and there. As students, we're really embracing social media. This week, we are so proud we've reached over 6 million people. 